Originally an arcade run and gun style platformer released in the late 80s by the now long defunct Tad Corporation, Toki chose to deviate from the mold of others in the genre by sprinkling in some tongue in cheek humor while maintaining tight core mechanics that the genre is known for. The Toki remake was originally planned for a 2011 release after being announced in October of 2009, but ultimately missed its release window and was considered vaporware until Microids announced that it had revived the remake following groundwork laid by Golgoth Studio and will be releasing on Nintendo Switch in 2019. For better and for worse, the Toki remake remains very true to its original arcade release. Immediately upon booting up, you'll notice the main feature of this remake, the gorgeous and colorful hand-drawn 2D character sprites and backgrounds. This was an amazing decision to go with for the remake as it brings a lot more vibrancy to the world of Toki, especially when compared to the original arcade release as well as the console ports from the last century. This new version of Toki is a nearly identical remake in terms of content, with the levels and enemies being faithfully recreated through the brand new art style. A change that is much appreciated from someone who has spent quite a few hours playing the original is that the levels have their own distinct music instead of looping the same track as you progress. While these changes are massive in context, the core of Toki has largely remained the same. While Toki is certainly a competent run and gun platformer, that's also where it plateaus. Like many run and gun platformers of its time, Toki doesn't do much to stand out, and that was even the case over 30 years ago. In Toki, you play as a titular character on a quest to regain your human form and savior, and I quote, woman Miho from your old enemy, Muki Medlo. That was the context given for the story in 1989, and it hasn't changed in the remake. The story hasn't been updated or expanded on, and the levels haven't changed, which results in about a 25 to 45 minute playthrough to completion. The core gameplay of Toki doesn't deviate from genre standards with the playable character having a single shot base weapon with the ability to collect pickups. The pickups are your standard fare, whether being increase in lives or modified weapons such as fire breath or the ability to shoot multiple projectiles. Bopping enemies is also a viable way to dispose of them, though since you can only be hit once before losing a life, I prefer to stay at a range with my shooting weapon. Each level has a few unique enemies, but there's admittedly not much variety overall in terms of enemy composition, with many new enemies feeling like extensions from previous encounters. Of course, once you've made it past the low level enemies, you'll have a boss encounter to wrap up each level. Fortunately, the boss battles provide an interesting challenge, as you have to identify their patterns in order to beat them. A rather annoying aspect of Toki is the respawning, as you're thrust back into the mix not far from where you lost your life. This will lead to you dying immediately upon respawning in many situations if you aren't aware and ready for what's coming. While this certainly isn't a major issue, it would have been nice if the respawn points would have been placed better throughout. By far, the biggest standout from the Toki remake is the new artwork. It really brings the game up to date from an aesthetic standpoint. It's a great revamp on the classic arcade graphics and gives the game a very modern look. Though, outside of this, nothing much has changed, and so it is very much a 30 plus year old game with a fresh coat of paint. While this is great for those who want a pure remake, as it keeps the content nearly identical, the game design certainly shows its age.